Haider Alitsa Oglu Alayev or Gaidar Aliyev, also spelled Haider Aliyev or Gaidar Aliyev was the third president of Azerbaijan for the new Azerbaijan party from October 1993 to October 2003, when his son Ilham Alayev succeeded him. From 1969 to 1982, Alayev was also the leader of Soviet Azerbaijan, effectively dominating the political life of Azerbaijan for many years. His personality cult has developed in Azerbaijan following his death. Career in the Soviet era. Equals early life equals, many of the details of Alayev's early life are obscure. According to his website, he was born in Nakhchivan City. After graduating from Nakhchivan Pedagogical School, from 1939 to 1941 Alayev attended the Azerbaijan Industrial Institute, where he studied architecture. In 1949 and 1950, he studied at the USSR MGB Officer Corps Qualifications Raising School. Alayev's official biography also stated that he studied at Baku State University, graduating with a degree in history in 1957. According to American journalist Pete Early, Alayev first attended the Ministry of State Security Academy in Leningrad, graduating in 1944. In 1948, he married Zarifa Aliyeva. On October 12, 1955, their daughter Sevil was born. On December 24, 1961, their son Ilham was born. Zarifa died of cancer in 1985. Equals leadership of Soviet Azerbaijan equals, Alayev joined the Azerbaijan SSR People's Commissariat for State Security in 1944. In 1954, as part of a government reform, NKGB became known as Committee for State Security, or the KGB. Alayev rose quickly within the agency to the rank of Major General, became a Deputy Chairman of Azerbaijani KGB in 1964, and its chairman in 1967. In 1969, Alayev was appointed by Leonid Brezhnev to the post of first secretary of the Central Committee of Azerbaijan Communist Party amidst a Soviet anti-corruption campaign. Alayev made some progress in the fight against corruption, a number of people were sentenced to prison terms. And in 1975, five factory and collective farm managers were sentenced to death for gross corruption. In the early 1980s, Alayev barred the offspring of certain legal personnel from attending the Republic's law school, in a purported effort to curb a self-perpetuating elite based on corruption. In 1977, even in Brezhnev's time, he visited Iran, Mashhad twice and Karbala once. During the period of his leadership of Soviet Azerbaijan, Alayev did not develop a commitment to the modernization of social structures, but his efforts led to considerably increased economic growth rates in Azerbaijan SSR. Alayev became perhaps the most successful Republican leader, raising the profile of the underprivileged Republic and consistently promoting Azerbaijanis to senior posts. This came at the cost of flattering Brezhnev with lavish gifts and receptions during his three visits to Azerbaijan SSR. On one occasion, Alayev gave him a ring set with a single large diamond in the middle meant to symbolize Brezhnev, surrounded by 15 smaller diamonds symbolizing the 15 constituent Soviet republics. Its worth was estimated at 226,000 rubles. On November 22, 1982, Yuri Andropov promoted Alayev from candidate to full member of Soviet Politburo and appointed him to the post of first deputy chairman of the Council of Ministers of the USSR, responsible for transportation and social services. Alayev thus attained the highest position ever reached by an Azerbaijani in the Soviet Union. Alayev was forced to resign from this position in 1987 amidst allegations of corruption made against him by Mikhail Gorbachev. From KGB to leader of Azerbaijan SSR, as head of the KGB's branch in Azerbaijan, Alayev ran an anti-corruption campaign as a cover for purging his opponents. Following the purge, he became the undisputed leader of Azerbaijan. During this time, Alayev acquired wealth and prestige by developing prominent ties with the Azeri Mafia. With its help, he amassed profits from the sale of various commodities, including Caspian Sea caviar, some gate oil, fruit, vegetables, and cotton euro, and from his involvement in Azerbaijan's border control and transportation industries. 
in order to remain the unchallenged leader of Azerbaijan, Aliyev bribed Brezhnev with lavish gifts a euro such as the so-called Sun King diamond ring, worth an estimated 226,000 rubles, described above. After two Moscow prosecutors investigated the Azeri Mafia, one was tried and expelled from the Communist Party, and the other was convicted and executed. Alayev became a candidate member of the Soviet Politburo in 1976. He occupied this position until December 1982, when Yuri Andropov promoted him to the office of first deputy chairman of the Council of Ministers. His star waned following his appointment in 1985 under Mikhail Gorbachev. His political views became something of a liability to him in the era of perestroika, but he still exerted tremendous power in Azerbaijan. An Azeri prosecutor, Gamboy Mamedov, investigated Alayev's corruption and ties to the Mafia, and persisted in this investigation despite retaliatory persecution of his relatives in Azerbaijan. Subsequently Alayev fired and denounced him. Nevertheless, this investigation was followed by the mass suicide of a number of Azeri Mafia members and the unexplained deaths of a number of Alayev's lieutenants. In October 1987, Gorbachev mounted a clear out of the old Brezhnevite guard and forced Alayev to resign from the Politburo, ostensibly for health reasons. George Soros has speculated that the first pogroms against Armenians in Azerbaijan were instigated by the local mafia, which was controlled by Alayev, in order to create a situation that would be detrimental to Gorbachev regardless of the outcome. Alayev dominated the political life of Azerbaijan for more than 30 years and left his oil-rich country with a problematic legacy of gross corruption. Fall and reinvention, after his forced retirement in 1987, Alayev remained in Moscow till 1990. He suffered a heart attack during this time. Alayev briefly appeared in the permanent mission of Azerbaijan SSR in Moscow, opposing the Soviet reassertion of control in Baku a military action which resulted in violent Black January events amidst the brewing Nagorno-Karabakh war. Almost immediately after this public appearance in Moscow, Alayev officially resigned his membership in the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and left Moscow for his native Nakhchivan. Here, Alayev reinvented himself as a moderate nationalist and was subsequently elected as a deputy to the Supreme Soviet of Azerbaijan SSR in Baku. Under the pressure and criticism from the groups connected to his nemesis, the then leader of Soviet Azerbaijan Nayaz Mutalibov, Alayev again returned to Nakhchivan, where he was elected chairman of the Supreme Soviet of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic in 1991. By December 1991, when the Soviet Union ceased to exist and Azerbaijan formally became an independent state, Despite Mutalibov's presidency Alayev independently governed Nakhchivan. Early 1992 was marked by increased violence in Nagorno-Karabakh war with the fall of Shusha, the last Azerbaijani populated town in Nagorno-Karabakh. These events resulted in the resignation of Mutalibov and the subsequent rise to power of the Azerbaijan Popular Front led by Abulfaz Elchebey. During Elchebey's one year in power, Alayev continued to govern Nakhchivan without any subordination to the official government in Baku. The attempt by the Popular Front's Minister of Interior Iskander Hamadok to forcibly overthrow Alayev and Nakhchivan was thwarted by local militia at the regional airport. During the same period, Alayev independently negotiated a ceasefire agreement in Nakhchivan with the then-president of Armenia, Levanta Petrosian. On June 9, 1993, after the military coup in Ganja led by Colonel Shurat Hussainov, Abulfaz Elchebey was forced to invite Haider Alayev to Baku to mediate the crisis. On June 24, 1993, amidst the advancement of insurgent forces under Hussainov's control towards Baku, Elchebey fled from the city to his native village of Kelki in Nakhchivan. Earlier, on June 15, 1993, Alayev had been elected chairman of the National Assembly of Azerbaijan, and after El Chabay's flight he also assumed temporary presidential powers. In August 1993, El Chabay was stripped of his presidency by the nationwide referendum, and in October 1993, Alayev was elected president of Azerbaijan. Alayev also tried but failed to resolve the Nagorno-Karabakh War, which, 
by the end of summer 1993, had resulted in the loss of some 13% of Azerbaijan's territory, an estimated 30,000 deaths, and the displacement of more than 600,000 ethnic Azerbaijanis. Attempting a military counter-offensive in December 1993, Azerbaijani forces failed to regain control of parts of Fuzulai, Kurjavand and Kalbajar, ending up with heavy human losses. In May 1994, Alayev entered into a ceasefire agreement that still remains in force today, in 2012. However, the conflict remained unresolved, with Armenian control over Nagorno-Karabakh. Equals March 1995 coup attempt equals. On March 13, 1995, an armed insurrection aimed at bringing Alayev down was staged by the special unit of the interior troops under the leadership of Colonel Robshin Javadov. Four days later, on March 17, 1995, the units of Azerbaijani armed forces surrounded the insurgents in their camp and assaulted it, killing Javadov. Later, the Turkish parliamentary report on the 1996 Suzerluk scandal revealed some details of the involvement of the Turkish government a Euro led by Prime Minister Tonsuyla and the Turkish intelligence a Euro in this coup attempt. Death and successor Aliyev's health began to fail in 1999, when he had a major heart bypass operation in the United States at the Cleveland Clinic. He later had prostate surgery and a hernia operation. He suffered a collapse while giving a speech on live television in April 2003. On August 6 Alayev returned to the United States for treatment of congestive heart failure and kidney problems. He stood down from the presidency at the start of October 2003, but in an extremely controversial move appointed his son Ilham as his party's sole presidential candidate. On December 12, 2003, President Haider Alayev died at the Cleveland Clinic. He was buried at the Fakhri Kayuban Cemetery in Baku. Ilham Alayev duly won the presidential election of October 15, 2003 but international observers again criticized the contest as falling well below expected standards. This transfer of power became the first case of top-level dynastic succession in the former Soviet Union. Honors, throughout his life, Haider Alayev received numerous awards, including the Order of Lenin four times, the Order of the Red Star once and Hero of the Socialist Labor twice. On March 27, 1997 in Kiev, Ukraine, Alayev received Ukraine's highest award, the Yaroslav Mudry Order, and on April 13, 1999, Turkey's highest honor, the Peace Premium of a Tatar one quarter AK Order. On April 3, 2003, he was elected a professor and authorized member of the Academy of Safety of the Russian Federation, and was subsequently awarded the premium of Y.V. Andropov. On May 10, 2003, he was decorated with the Order of St. Apostle Andrei Pavosvinia Euro Russia's Supreme Award. A statue of Haider Alayev was raised in Mexico City in 2012 after local authorities signed a fraternity agreement with the government of Azerbaijan. However, Mexican intellectuals and civil society repudiated the statue because of Alayev's proven record as a systematic human rights violator. The government of Mexico City removed the statue in January 2013 to the dismay of Azerbaijan, who warned of damage to Azerbaijan's relations with Mexico if the statue was removed, including the potential closure of its embassy and the suspension of Azerbaijani investments in Mexico. Honors and Awards Soviet Union, Hero of Socialist Labor, twice, Five Orders of Lenin, Order of the October Revolution, Order of the Red Star, Order of the Patriotic War, First Class, Other, Turkey, First Class of the Order of the State of Republic of Turkey, Russia, Order of St. Andrew for his great personal contribution to strengthening friendship and cooperation between Russia and Azerbaijan, Ukraine, Order of Prince Yaroslav the Wise. First Class for Outstanding Contribution to the Development of Cooperation between Ukraine and the Republic of Azerbaijan and Strengthening Friendship between the Ukrainian and Azeri People, Turkey, a Tatar. One Quarter AK Award for Peace, Order of St. Sergius of Radanese, First Class, Order Sheikh Al Islam, Georgia, Order of the Golden Fleece. See also, President of Azerbaijan, Politics of Azerbaijan, National Assembly of Azerbaijan, Foreign Relations of Azerbaijan, List of Political Parties in Azerbaijan. 
References External links, Official Website, Official Website Haider al Ayyub Foundation, Envisioning the Nation, Interview, Azerbaijan's President, Haider al Ayyub.